We're gonna be talking today about an animal that is kind of a little guy. So these little guys, they serve a really important purpose, pollination. That means they travel across our nation from the northern part of North America all the way to the southern part of North America, and they're pollinating the plants and fruits and vegetables that we need to eat. And we can help them out. We're gonna find out how. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Jess. I'm here with John Joshus, and John here is an expert on the food that monarch butterflies eat. Tell us about it, John. Well, the most used by the monarch butterfly is the common milkweed, which is right here. Okay. This is actually the tallest and the earliest blooming milkweed in the whole zoo. Yeah. Do you know why? This actual plant? Yes. No, I don't. The reason is, is because of this wall. This wall reflects heat. Ah. And so it actually stimulates the growth of this plant yeah. and makes it taller and also cause it to bloom first. The albedo effect, right? Yeah. The reflectivity. Mm -hmm. Got it. Reflectivity. So why exactly. is this important for monarchs? Well, the monarch butterflies lay their eggs on the undersides of the leaves. Okay. And uh, then the caterpillars hatch and this is what they eat. Okay. So this is the most important nectar source for the, the monarch butterflies. So um, we, we know that this is like a, a has a, a plethora of different kinds of um, milkweed. Mm -hmm. Can we go on an adventure and see what sure. else we have throughout the park? Sure. So every time you see milkweed, you just let it be. Mm -hmm. And you've spotted, last year you spotted 10 monarch butterflies? 10. Mm -hmm. And I think there were 20 million that made it to Mexico. They go to Mexico? That, that was the count. Yeah, they go to Mexico. Is that the for, migration? For the migration. Okay. These are called butterfly weeds. Yeah. Is it more for all butterflies? Or for all butterflies. For all butterflies. Okay. But monarchs like them too. This is a swamp milkweed here. Swamp milkweed. And do monarchs yeah. use that as well? They do. This is mostly the source for the caterpillar. Oh. Is the swamp milkweed. There's a caterpillar. So pretty soon, that little caterpillar is going to go into a beautiful, almost a jewel-like chrysalis, right? Mm -hmm. They're kind of picky. They they travel to Mexico for their mm -hmm. vacation, so they're right. like royalty. They get these fancy vacations, mm -hmm. and they only eat specific special food. Right. And why do we need them? For pollination. Wow, that was awesome, right? So I know you're asking, what can I do to help monarchs? Well, plant milkweed. In this area of the Midwest, common milkweed is going to be the best host plant for monarchs. The other thing you can do is you can join groups like Monarch Watch, as well as Citizens for Monarchs. You can find them on Facebook. And last, but certainly not least, come to the zoo. Help us spot these animals. These little guys need our help. If you spot a monarch, make a comment below. Let us know the date you came, and let us know the area of the zoo. Great, well thanks for hanging out with me guys, and we'll see you next time on Let's Hear It For The Little Guys.